So apparently some interesting things have been going on at Wendy's. It says here, AI chatbot to replace human order takers at Wendy's drive through 13.9 million displaced. It says it's happening. AI chatbot to replace human order takers at Wendy's drive through Wendy's is working with Google on the integration. So in a nutshell, your next interaction at the drive through could be with an AI chatbot instead of a human order taker. And you might not even know it. <laughs> That'll be a bit weird. <laughs> uh, uh, they should at least say, okay, this is an AI that you're talking to, not a human. They should be honest with that. Fast food giant Wendy's has partnered with Google to trial an artificial intelligence chatbot at one of its restaurants in its home state of Ohio. The chatbot will be trained to understand how customers typically order items from the menu and interact in a natural way. According to Wendy's chief executive, the test bot will be very conversational and some customers might not even realize they're talking to a human employee. Software engineers with Wendy's have been working with the search giant to tweak its large language model for keywords and phrases specific to menu ordering. The company's milkshakes are known as Frosties, for example, but some customers might simply refer to them as a milkshake. Other Wendy slang, including biggie bag, is also being integrated into the chatbot's vocabulary. The order taking chatbot will also have to deal with other variables that are unique to the drive through lane, such as background chatter from other people in a vehicle talking, the radio playing, or even loud engines and exhaust tones. So, Wendy's chief information officer said early tests have been promising. It's at least as good as our best customer service representative, and it's probably on average better. What? It's at least as good as our best customer service representative? So that means it's extremely good already. In what should come as a surprise to absolutely nobody, the order taking chatbot has been programmed to upsell. It will routinely ask if you like a larger size or are interested in a daily special. Penninger said the goal of the chatbot is to help reduce long lines from forming in the drive through lane, which could prompt some potential customers to go elsewhere. In my experience with most fast food joints, it's not the long lines that turn customers away, but rather the slow pace and incorrect nature in which an order is prepared in the kitchen that's the problem. The Wendy's chatbot rollout will start in June at a company-owned location in Columbus, Ohio. So you need to realize that they're not expanding this already in all of their fast food chains. They're starting with Ohio, and then if it works well, they're going to increase into more of their locations. And it said in the article that 13 million displaced. Wendy's only has 14,000 employees, so I don't know where they get 13.9 million displaced. What I think they mean is that if AI can replace these employees then potentially we could see up to 13.9 million employees displaced. But I want to be clear here, as of right now, no, 13.9 million people have not been displaced, but maybe potentially in the upcoming, who knows, five years could get displaced. So I wanted to be clear here. Now, what do I take away from this article? I personally think that it's becoming harder and harder to be in the lower class of people, and it's just becoming easier for the upper class. What do I mean by this? AI is making it easier for shareholders to make more money. Why? Because it's gonna help reduce the expenses of the business. And what's one of the largest expenses that a business has? It's the expenses that a business pays to its employees. So look, look over here. Cost of revenue is $1.5 billion for Wendy's. Their revenue, their latest revenue as per the latest year was only 2.1 billion. So 1.5 billion of that was from cost of revenue and a big portion of that is what they pay to employees. So if they can just cut out all of the expenses that they pay for employees, that's a large amount of expenses, and what's that going to do to their profits, their yearly profits? It's going to increase it massively. So the margins are going up, the profits going up for the shareholders, for the upper class of people. But the lower class of people working the lower paid jobs, it's becoming harder and harder to be one of these guys. You're losing your jobs. It's as the saying goes, it's becoming more and more. It's the have nots and the have yachts. So. You know, the question is, well, should we bring in a universal basic income? That is a great question. Maybe in the future, we're going to need to pay these people who are losing their jobs to AI and technology 
we're gonna need to pay people a universal basic income because they still need money for food for healthcare for basic human needs but just from an individual point of view i would not rely on the government to pay me an income generally speaking it's better to not rely on governments for money and find your own solution and i guess the message of hope that i have that in the modern era it is easier to enter into the upper class and to start their journey into becoming rich because anyone has the opportunity to become a shareholder in a business you just need to change your habits you got to learn how to invest in stocks instead of buying netflix the subscription and watching tv all day learn to buy netflix stock instead of buying a new iphone buy apple stock instead of buying wendy's and buying unhealthy food buy wendy stock you got to find a way into joining the upper class and becoming an owner of a business instead of being an employee of a business to do so you need to learn how to invest instead of just spending all your money that you earn each month because it seems that it's becoming harder and harder to be in the lower class of people you got to try find a way into entering into the upper class of people and actually profiting from the likes of ai and these new technologies that are coming instead of losing your job to these new technologies and losing your job to ai